Oh boy. Here we go starting 3.4's class. I got the Vulcan Moon. Oh, it's not gonna have voice acting, is it? Oh. Should I do the voice acting? I have to, bro. I, I can't, like, sit here and have, like, a fucking full video with no talking, bro. Hey, who are you? No, I'm not doing Pylons. <laughs> Whoa, bandits. Bandits? How rude. I'm Mendes. A scout. And this is... Now, is his name Huge Away or Hoogway? Who cares? Jet and Vibe is here. I'm just gonna read Paimon's as our voice because I can't be bothered. Yes, Jet sent us a letter. That's why we're here. A letter. Show me. You give letters, Jet, so the scouts will review. Well, if your friend Jet's friends, I won't stop you. You may move on. The tribe's campsite lies ahead. Jet isn't back yet, but... Atrophy, Atrophy, Masaria, and Yukten are in there at the moment. They're pretty friendly downsiders. Don't hesitate to seek them out. And if you dare to deceive us, you will find it quite unfriendly indeed. Alright. Sweet, bro. Time flies so fast. Before you know it, Lantern Rite's almost here again. Alright, now the Lantern Rite's here, bro. The people of Liyue and Mr. Vority started preparing for the most important festival of the year, right? Hopefully, Paimon will be able to check out tons of great food again this year. Anyway, let's go to Liyue Harbor and see what's up. Oh, boy. Hey. There's a burp in the mic. Sorry if you ever hear that. Oh, boy. No, we're doing we're doing 3.4 desert first. We're going to burn through the desert. We're going to get it done. Yes, I see I have the quest. Run through this. We're going completely blind, by the way. We got no... Uh, whatever, who cares about all that? We got nothing. I don't got any waypoints. Got nothing. We're going completely... The only one I got was the tan camp. That's it. So, fuck it, bro. This dude's got a mustache, right? He's probably got like a posh voice. Hello, young ones. What do you need? These are probably... Well, we're here to see Jet. Is she around? Jet? Yeah, she's here. Why are you looking for her? Or her friends, bro. Friends? Oh. She's mentioned you before, I think. Don't think about a brave and reliable young man. Hmm. She's been hanging around the site for too long. I see you making friends with rich people in fancy clothing and such. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Sorry, we're speaking so rudely, but I care little for receiving outsiders. You should seek the matriarch Bible instead. What do you do here, bro? What do I do? I do business exchanges or trash for trash from the city. Well, I have nothing else to say to you. Why don't you go find Masoya? He's a strange old man. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a warmer welcome here. Alright. Not friendly to outsiders? I am. Fuckers living like... I don't even know. What part of the desert is this? The most northeastern side? Actually, no, this is the most northern side. Alright. Looks like a gruff old man. Mm. Hello? Catathon, man, I presume? Man, I can't voice that shit. <laughs> you already know my name? Shh. Yes. You're here to find some. Your friend, yes. Yeah. That's good girl. Glad she has friends like you. Thanks, bro. <laughs> anyway, if you don't mind a little advice, you look like a real kill. Not you do, but companions. Those will prove to be your undoing. Your fatal weakness. Bro, I don't get anything you're trying to say, bro. Consider my words with a brief. Major Mabel's not back yet. You can go talk to Yufton. Be right by the creek. Where he hears crocodiles. Right, there we go. Even before I forget how that fucking voice goes. What's new here? Cascading pools. Ancient ruins of the desert are contained. Such mechanical that once used to guide the flow of water. Hit the spout to attack. Switch between closed and open gates. When spouts are open, sand and grit will flow through them. What's a sand grit? 
Fill this cascade full of some unexpected rewards may be yours. Oh my god. What even was one of those? Geronimo! Huh. They raise crocodiles. One way to draw your target out of hiding. Lift them. <laughs> Hello, stranger. What do, do you need? Hello. Do you need any help? Huh? I don't, don't need anything. Why are you asking? Oh, you mean the way I t talk, right? <laughs> I'm used to it. Hope you will be too. Speaking a little slower makes you. Oh, speaking a little slower. Okay. Speaking a little slower makes your train of thought all the clearer. If you're really looking for a jet, she, she's still out. Please go meet Matriarch Babel first. She has b been waiting for you for a long time. She's a good kid. I didn't read my own fucking line there. And she's made friends. Is very happy and talks like a l l little antelope. I'm very. Very happy for her. Mm. It's getting busy up here. Matriarch Mabel has returned. Uh, okay, you should probably meet her. Please don't keep her w waiting too long. Let's go for a lower tone of voice for that dude. That's right. No, what those answers wanted. It's not my fault. Please, let me explain, Richard Mabel. God damn. P please, give me one more chance, Richard. My lady, I will prove my loyalty to the tenant. Please believe me. I will gladly offer my life. But what's the voice I give her, bro? You already know she's gonna have like a beta ass voice. Look at this woman, bro. Son. I'm not going to do a female voice, but I can't do it. You can read it yourself, bro. <laughs> you, Dr. T. Also. I don't know, I want to give her like a Slytherin, so I can like hissing voice, but I know that's not her voice. No. Please don't. I don't understand. If you're willing to give your life for the tenant, why are you still standing before me alive? And another thing. Why did you address me as my lady? I don't speak the language of snowlands and do not care for the sophistry of so-called civilized world. There's no such thing as my lady yet. Damn, I'm throwing the shade at Shesnaya. Do enlighten me. What makes you think I'm not your family anymore but some lady? Your tongue is tainted with outsider poison. Your mind stained by their gold. You cannot remain here. I shall speak no further. Lead him away. He was once one of us. So you know what to do. Moving has taken away. Leaving an uneasy sound. Now. After a while, the crowd begins to disperse, making room for you to see the matriarch. Uh, what just happened? Whatever it is, it sounded scary. Shut up. Mm -hmm. My apologies, children. I was a little distracted. I forgot you were there. I'm terribly sorry that you had to see that. I'm at fault. As the matriarch of the tenant, I'd like to make some amendments. But no need. You know what that teeth and tongue stuff at all? We were simply nothing betting out of punishment as a traitor, all the same. I'm sorry for having given such a terrible first impression of that as a matriarch. The city has its, has its laws. The tribe has its rules. So please, do not pay it too much. Too much mind. You two are Catafilamella and Pylon, yes. Jet talks about you two. We came without our invitation. This doesn't seem like a good time, though. Ah, no need to be so polite. Indeed. I should say that you have impeccable timing. It was I who approved her invitation in the first place. That is how you got safely past Tanit's hunting ground. Oh, I do feel bad saying this. I invite you here to help Jeff with some unfinished business. Hunting grounds? Huh? <clears throat> hunting grounds? Don't worry. We weren't trying to hunt you. You're an honored guest here. For so long as we remember our guests' faces, we shall never do them harm in our land. 
as long as we remember, I guess, basis. What does that mean? That still isn't very reassuring. <laughs> now, don't let me spoil the fun for you, young boy. Look, Jet is here. Someone in the comments telling me to do a female voice. I'm not watching this. Matriarch Mabel, I returned. How did he go with that fellow? I made sure he was given sufficient dignity. That's good. But do not be proud of this deed, child. This was a tragic affair. He was a tribesman, and also yours. I understand. <laughs> Alright. This is not a good place. This is not a good day to preach. The friends you have been waiting for have finally arrived. So set your tears aside and greet them with joy. Matriarch Mabel, what are you? Long time no see, Jet. Hey, Jet! We're here to see you. Caterpillar Mill, a pine lot? You really did come. Thank you, Matriarch Mabel. I shouldn't have gotten mad at everyone about it. Not now. Of course I'm happy to see you all together. Whatever it is you want to see or do, I'm ready to approve it. You can put your doubts to rest. Word of caution, however. The road ahead of you will be fraught with danger and intrigue, so be on your guard. Please, stay safe. Messenger. Is this is a random dude, or is this the dude we had talking to the friend? Ah, fuck it, bro. We drank Mabel. I reach, sent me the river a message to you. Just you excuse me, I travel affairs to tender. I'll leave you young ones to catch up. Thanks. Jet, you've changed a lot since we last saw you. <laughs> good you got a good eye, don't you, Paimon? So what's the difference about me? You look a little more tanned. Hey, mouthy as always, huh? You've mellowed out. Is that so? <laughs> After all, we've been through you. Probably would should mature even just a little. Right about that. Heaven knows, right? You look like you're really coming to your own. Really? I just know a lot of survival skills here, that's all. Been busy keeping myself alive, you know. Make sure baby has taken good care of me all this time. I've helped her out with a lot of things. I'm grateful that she accepted me as a member of the tribe. And how have you been doing since the last time we met? You think I was pinning out? You, th you think I was pining after you like some lovesick maiden? Whoa, hang on a moment. Where did you learn to say all that? Ah, <laughs> uh, here I thought I'd get you to blush. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All the boys in the tribe are like that. Talking nonsense like this. It's annoying. They can't beat me away. They can't beat me anywhere. <laughs> to be honest, it's been tough living, but we're... All looking for each other. We've all looking. We're all looking out for each other and help each other out so we can survive. Still, the first days were rough. I occasionally thought about the days back when my father would teach and protect me, and to think that I used to find him annoying when he was around. But the good old days won't put food on the table today. And Matriarch Babel and the rest of the tenant have been look good, taking good care of me, so it's better to look at. As the tenant have accepted me, I've learned to make myself more useful to everyone. Anyway, let's not doubt it. i got some errands to run, and since you're here, why not join me? Whoa! Is that what you do with old friends? <laughs> sorry, sorry. People are just busy sometimes, you know. Mm. Let me think. You did need help finding crocodiles, so let's go there first. I've already forgotten what voice I gave you. No, stutter. <laughs> I'm here, Yufta. I brought my friends Caterpillar and Fine One. Hello, Jet. Have you f finished? Have you finished your b business? Yep. And that's how I thought I should come here and help you out. I brought my friends along to boot. Oh, thank you, Jet. You re remember that I had something I needed your help with. <laughs> Back when Elder Bledo was around, you used to pester him to f feed the crocodiles together with you. <laughs> Loose lips sink ships. Um, Alright, here's the f food. 
The meat's fresh. Take it. Okay, let's go, Catacombo. I'm not reading the dialogue at the bottom, but pay attention. Eating crocodiles is actually pretty easy. You got the meat, they follow the scent, and they eat it themselves. By the way, your matriarch is pretty fearsome. Oh, you mean what happened just now? <laughs> oh, you mean what happened just now? Well, it's nothing. We're just dealing with a trainer. I tracked him through the desert for half a month before bringing him back alive. He was crafty, plenty of fierce to boot. Had to knock some of his teeth out to subdue him. Ah, my hand still hurts. Whoa. That sounds scary. So, be careful what you say around me in the future. Air time one. Oh. Yeah, watch your teeth, by the way. No. <laughs> Don't be so serious. We're all friends here. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, well. Cross the water. Uh, page. This is a piece of literature. The words fly as you flip through the pages. There's a literary analysis on the supporting. They're not nearly as correctly formed as a material for urban academia students. It's astonishing that those dwellers would spend so much time reading books such as Bush Boarding, but you notice at the bottom of the top of the page is emblem belonging to the academia library. Perhaps the book is among those that have been smuggled. Why would the desert folk read boring literature? Knowledge is knowledge. It does look like you've taken you've taken seriously you're taken seriously around here. Everyone seems to respect you. Well, there's this well, the thing is because of my previous experience with adventures, I'm more perceptive about things that happen outside the tribe. So the matriarch decided that it would be my job to track down outsiders and punish traitors of the tribe. So you like the tribe just a car? Interesting. I wonder what your father did. Why she entrusted that work to you? Since I wasn't born among the tenant, it's okay for me to deal with criminals in a more aggressive way. That's what Matrix Babel told me. Not Babel. Although, I don't really care. I'm not sure if this special privilege or proof of our estrangement. Well, I wasn't born here after all. The Tanner tribe isn't a home I'm inherently familiar with. I can only try my best to do everything well. As long as I can put some roots down, I think I'll be fine. Good to see that you finally found a home. <laughs> Don't laugh now, but I'm glad to see you're here. Alright, I think they'd be in there, Phil. Let's go. <laughs> Have you finished yet? Yeah, I'm gonna wash now. Your crocodile food stinks. It's no longer raw meat. <laughs> and does th th that or traitor blood smell worse? Hey, not funny. Thank you. By the way, there's one more thing I want to uh, ask of you. This is the this is the cured cr crocodile meat that I promised to give Anarfi previously. Pass it to it on to him for me, would you? Bro, I'm developing a fucking stutter trying to do the stutter in his dialogue. Oh my god. Sure, sure. I'll give your cro crocodile meat to our doctor. No problem. Hey, that, that was uncalled for. <laughs> smell you later. You smell me? You feel me? She's 14, I'm 14. <laughs> that was an Elmont E. Rubber, e Money one. Oh, for fuck's sake, what voice did I give this dude? I'm here, I thought for me. Oh, here to show off the new. I would go back and rewatch what I just fucking. The other voice I just gave him, but I, I literally, like, my brain's fried and I can't even fucking remember, like, the 10 minutes of the one voice I just gave it. <laughs> Wait, was he a deeper one? I said he had the mustache, so I gave him a posh one, and I was like... 
Fuck it, bro. Let's give him the posh voice now. Oh, you just show off your new out, your new outsider friends? Sort of. But, by the way, the crocodile is tricky from Yifton. Oh, thanks. You're so considerate. <laughs> no worries. By the way, about Devin, can you still fix it? Don't worry. It's nothing serious. I'll be able to get it back to you in a couple of days. Oh. Okay. Then I'll get going. Stay safe. I mean, I could give him, like, the fucking hardcore, like, native Indian accent. Gadgets, toys, new clothes, and cosmetics. Oh, do you wear makeup? What do you even mean by that? Lapis is eyeshadow is essential sunscreen for does. Oh, well, I can't, I can't read all that that fast, goddamn. Yeah. Running here and there really wakes up a sweat. Bro, why are we saying it doesn't sound easy? We do this shit all the time. Are you always this busy? It's fine. I don't like being idle, actually. But look at me. I didn't invite you guys here so you could run some errands. Isn't it? Well, so here's the stunt. Mitchell and Fable recently agreed to let me bring my dad, my father's remains, and those of my mother, to be buried in the Eternal Oasis. Oh? So that's a real place? My mom thought that was just a myth. Wow, well, the last time we parted, I was so lost I honestly didn't know where to start looking. Mitchell Babel, however, seems to be sure that the Eternal Oasis lies in the middle of the desert. Tenant tribe holds that the never-ending sandstorm at the heart of the desert conceals the Eternal Oasis. Unfortunately, that area has been sealed off by the tribe at a taboo place. No one can approach it except scouts on patrol. Taboo? Is it dangerous or something? Yes. Some other folks believe the ancient spirits roam there. Hungering for souls and flesh. That's probably just a myth. I don't believe it. Okay, so why the hell is Babel giving you special permission? It's probably on the count that afraid of nothing attitude mind that Mitchell Bay has taken special care of me. And it might be because I'm a half outsider, so I'm able to forego some of the taboos that the elders value. That's what I think, anyways. Basically, I can bypass the taboos the, the elders of the ex and explore the eternal oasis. Don't let me fulfill a long cherished wish of mine. Secure the future of the tribe too. They believe in this place where the secrets of the mistress of flowers lies. If these secrets can be discovered, they give the tribe a new lease on life. I know this is my duty and honor, but I've been thinking, I've been getting this feeling that I should invite you to witness it with me. After all, since my father passed, that leaves you to my most trusted friends. The closest thing I have to family right now. And that's why I wanted to ask you to join me on this wayward little trip of mine. Yeah, you can rest easy. Of course we'll help. No problem, bro. We didn't come all this way just to leave, you know. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. You won't go unrewarded. Rest assured. <laughs> First, we need to get to the ruins of Guru Dad. Well, Guru Guru's bad. <laughs> and look at this Ginny fragment thing. I don't quite understand. But the tribe stories say that the only one who knows how to open the way to the oasis, so we'll have to find it. Mm. And that's all I can tell you, really. I think Azir can tell you more. Shall, shall we go? Let's, let's get out of here. Okay, then we're off. I have so many other things I want to say. Now we're off on an adventure with Jet. Perfect.